Ray Brinefield, ABC7 in New York, congratulations. You kind of drove me right into my next question. You're 70 years old, you could be doing so many different things at this stage in your life, you've already accomplished so much as a coach. What still motivates you? What still drives you at this age? And how much did that motivation bring you here to St. John's? I wear a shirt <clears throat> called PhD all the time. And um, I don't have one. But it stands for passionate, hungry, and driven. Been that way all my life. Got that expression from a, a very, very astute financial advisor named Mario Gabelli. And I went to a back room trying to invest Jamal Mashburn's money, who's been my business partner for 35 years. And I met with Goldman Sachs, I met with Payne Webber, Merrill Lynch, sat in these boardrooms, and the last person I met was Mario Gabelli. And I said, where do you get your talent from? What in school? University of Chicago, Princeton. He said, no, I just look for PhDs. I said, PhDs to trade equities? He said, and pardon my language on this, but I am gonna quote him. I look for poor, hungry, and driven people. I don't give a shit where they go to college. So I took, I adopted that for the last 30 something years about being passionate. I changed the poor to passionate. My players didn't like that expression. So I, I just have a passion, hunger and drive for excellence on the basketball court to teach my players more than just basketball, how to excel in life. And um, we took a three star player from Archbishop Malloy at Louisville and made him a two time All American and that's Russ Smith. I'm so proud of that young man, uh, part of the national championship team. So I want to do the same things at St. John's that I've done every place I've been, change lives, make lives better, help the whole community get behind a team to win and win in a big way.